Hi guys, it's Nicole Jones, the British Show Jumper, and I wanted to share with you. I'm listening to another audiobook at the moment by a guy called Grant Cardone. Who you Americans in the house will probably know who Grant Cardone is, but most of the Brits probably don't unless you're in sales. And I always try and see when I'm reading business books and things. I always try and see if there's something um, that can um, help you as a rider. And one of the things that he said, there was just this light bulb moment. He sort of talks a lot about. Um, he's very motivational. He talks a lot about basically not giving loads of excuses, which um, sits very close to my heart because. I find that people could achieve so much more if they just stopped telling themselves stories saying, you know, I can't do it, I don't have time. Um, being a queenie, being part of my following, um, I encourage people to, we're, we're not excuse makers, we are the sort of people that get down and um, do the things that need to be done to achieve what we want to achieve. And um, one of the things he talks about a lot is um, is sort of this idea of quitting and it was such a profound moment when, when, he, when he was talking to me, or on the audiobook anyway, um, he was just like, basically, you can't fail if you never quit. So if you think of all the little stumbling blocks that you have every time you meet a challenge, if your attitude every time you met a challenge was like, right, persist, 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 just keep going, just keep going. How can you fail like that? You will eventually find a way to succeed. And that's so, so important because there's so many people just living average. <laughs> I don't mean that to be unkind, but you know, I have massive, massive dreams, and I think most people have massive dreams, but a lot of them give up on those dreams, and um, and I'm not prepared to do that. And if anyone says they're happy or they're settling, I agree with what um, Grant Cardone says. I agree that people have just they've sold themselves that um, actually they don't want those things, they don't need those things. So he he talks a lot about um, in his book, which is Sell or Be Sold, which I'll include a link below because it's really good. I definitely recommend it, and just stick with it. Don't don't like listen to it and go, oh, it's an American accent. I'm not going to do it. Like. You, you need to teach yourself some resilience like you can listen to an American for a whole um, whole audiobook um, and, and it's all about building that resilience because every time you do something that's hard you're gonna get better at doing things that push you out of your comfort zone so he was um, he was talking about sell or be sold so either you're selling something um, so you might be selling an idea he uses the example of like going to the movies so um, your other half wants to go and see an action movie you don't want to see an action movie so um, what you do is you um, first of all agree because he always says that you need to agree with a person first of all be agreeable so um, yeah okay um, it's a good idea that we go to the action movie and then think about how you're gonna sell maybe going for dinner instead or um, or how you're gonna negotiate changing um, those plans if you can um, and 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 he said, if you're not selling, then you're being sold too. So he uses the analogy of a child. So a child, you know, doesn't get, wants a chocolate bar, doesn't get what they want. So they sit and they cry and they scream. And then eventually they then just sell themselves on the idea that they don't want it. So they're like, well, I don't want it anyway, because they've been told that they can't. So they would, they don't know, understand how to sell and how to negotiate with the parent. So what actually happens is they end up um, just selling themselves on the fact that they don't want it. And this happens so much in, in weight loss, where people just like, well, I don't really care anyway. It, you know, it's not important anyway. And that's because they've sold themselves on the idea that actually it's not important to them. Well, it was important to them when they first decided to um, to start doing it. So why have they sold themselves that actually they don't want to do it anymore? And normally it's because they don't understand the degree of work and persistence that is needed. And it's not, you know, people often say to me, like, how do you keep in shape? How do you fit everything in? It's not, I'm not superhuman. I honestly, if, when you meet me, you'll know I'm, I'm a completely normal person I have lots and lots of flaws just like everybody else but what I'm learning what I'm this journey that I'm going on is I'm understanding that you have to build resilience you have to build resilience you have to build independence um, luckily in my childhood we had a few issues that went on so I, I gained quite a lot of independence when I was quite young and um, and you but you've got to build that resilience and you've got to understand that it's it's like a skill like you have to keep developing it you have to keep training the same as if you wanted to become an amazing show jumper amazing dressage rider that you just don't see the success like the the hard work sorry that the successful people have how many times do you think mark todd has fallen off how many times do you think he's missed a stride like he's had hundreds of failures and the reason that he's led to success is because he never quit so that's what i want you to take from this video just i want you to remember that you can only fail if you quit if you just keep going and going and going you know you can never fail you just have to keep pushing to get yourself nearer to your potential and no one knows what your potential is like don't ever say if any any naysayers or anyone says to you oh no you'll never be able to do that how do they know they've got no idea they don't know you they don't know what horse you might have they don't know what opportunities they don't know who you might meet through the british show jumper group like the, these connections are so important you have no idea 
you could just be in the Queenie group and um, interacting with one of the photos and actually one of those p people lives five miles down the road from you and is an international show jump rider who you can then go and get lessons off people that you didn't know were there so this this movement is not just about um, losing weight it's not just about strength and conditioning it's not just about helping people to do the nutrition because my mission I want to help people um, achieve more with their horses I also want to make sure that we are taking pressure off the NHS by making sure people are actually taking responsibility for their bodies I feel passionately about that um, and and so with all of that sort of in together this movement this um, British Show Jumper Pro and the Queenies that are within the British Show Jumper Pro I want you to um, take responsibility because your life depends on you it's not anyone else it's not because of an external force it depends on you and the choices that you make and I want to push you to um, to push yourself out of your comfort zone and make choices that are right for you all right then guys take care have a lovely day bye bye